Hi everyone, my name is Sadi Chohan and I am a Plan Swift Consultant for Middle East and Africa. Today I'm going to talk about 10.3 Plan Swift. It's the latest variant and recently came out. 10.3 includes new feature, bug fixes, speed and improvement in user interface. If you haven't tried yet, visit the Plan Swift website and download the software today. And the first one is speed and performance. Now the latest version of Plan Swift is able to open the large and heavy projects much faster, especially dealing with latest versions of PDF and CAD files are much smoother than ever. And I'm sure the regular users of Plan Swift are gonna love this. The second one is activation and deactivation workflow improvement. As we all know, activating any license is a critical workflow. So considering that PlanSwift has updated and improved many issues of activation process. First one is terminology updated. So now in the license manager, user will not find remove license. Instead of that, they will find deactivate the license and activate the license. I think it's better than before. Second, manual activation is removed from the form. Of course, user can enable from the setting, but it will not appear like before. Third, plans have add two options for auto deactivation setting. It's really good for those who share the license with each other. Next reactivation date will automatically appear while activating the software. It's good for users to understand how long they can work offline. PlanSwift now added a link for my portal so user can click anytime here and directly access the PlanSwift portal to get more information about the license. 6. PlanSwift moved the activation button from help tab to PlanSwift tab. 7. Better message. Now PlanSwift add new message for password error, for seats error, expiry date and many other. So if user type an incorrect password same time plans will show the reason or if the user belong to trial version plans will show the specific reason now plans have added 43 new shapes in account which is eight time more compared to previous version new shape can be accessed through the drop down menu of account takeoff item and new account shape types also include properties to rotate the shape in three different ways entering a number in a degree using a slider control using a hot key or pressing a o from the keyboard that's really good for the users like me who have so many symbols in a plan and now we can segregate all the symbol by different shapes if you don't know yet let me tell you PlanSwift is part of USA based leading company Construct Connect and now sample project includes the branding of Construct Connect not only this but new sample project include commercial and residential job flex warehouse plan new link to live integration to excel and updated the introduction page design and the sample project plans are offered to those users who are new so they can practice on this sample project and get more idea about plan swift now plans have added the page scale in the bottom left corner of the user interface so that user can always see the page scale and page scale will always be displayed for docked and undocked pages it's really good feature for those users who share projects with each other because if the scale is displayed on the page the user can see it so they don't have to depend on other they can see it how page is being set either it's by 150 or 1 200 plans of tab will display updates and messages from the product team so anything important like news tutorial and information of plans will be displayed here for quick access of the user plans will fix the number of bugs in this version item ordering error messages scroll bar property time and date fix segment for wall area and linear and the part and assembly connections so that was a quick idea about plans of latest release if you haven't tried yet visit the plans of website or check the link in the description below and download the software today thank you so much for watching see you in the next video